Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are in Pi. It is a city about uh, two hours or two hours and 45 minutes to three hours from Old Town and it's up here in the mountains. And the reason we're here is it is Kendall and I, it is our 15 year anniversary. So we are staying at a place that I'm about to show you. We just checked in. I have just very excited about being here. It is called Reverie Siam, as you can see on the sign. So I'm gonna walk you through Reverie Siam just to give you a look at the, how awesome this place really is. Now, Kendall and I came up on, uh, on our motorcycle and uh, we took the, the Mai Hong Son Road, which is just nothing but curves. Luckily, we had this beautiful day to ride here on. So the ride here was actually pretty good. I was wondering how it was gonna be for Kendall's sake because riding in motorcycles for this long is not her thing, but uh, it turned out real well. Now, this is where you check in at. And this is the uh, front desk area right over here. As you can see, they got people waiting to check it, you in. Hello. And they have a wonderful little check-in area over here. And then as we go in, you will see you've got this bridge with a lake here. We're just getting warmed up. We're not to the good stuff yet though. So this is where their restaurant is. And I'll take you all the way to our room eventually. But uh, here is a view of their beautiful room. It's just gorgeous everywhere you look. Very nice, it's done in old style. It's like you kind of went back in time. That's kind of the theme here. I'll show you a little bit more as I spin around here. But it is absolutely beautiful. They have an outside area, which I will give you a better angle at with this. And as you can see, they have a nice little outside, it's covered, but it's still an outside air environment. They have a bar as you come through. If you want to order any mixed drinks they have a full bar right here with somebody ready to take your drink order so as we well, I, know, I haven't been this way yet let's turn this way okay this is one of the pools that I, I have seen this this is the smaller pool it's more of your conventional just regular Pool, and then they have a really fancy one that I will show you here in just a minute. All right, another nice thing is we're the only ones here. We've got the whole thing to ourselves, at least for today. That could change. So as we walk around, they have a uh, nice little uh, area there full of water. It's really pretty. And you can probably see it already in the distance, but here comes the other swimming area, the one I'm really excited about. And let me see, I'll just cut through these trees. And this is what it looks like. So here is where the rooms are, not our room. I'll take you there, and give you a tour of the room. But this is the nice little uh, pool area they have. So we're going to be checking this out here soon. All right, moving right along with our little tour. This is the other way to go to the same pool that we were just at, but I wanted to take a look at this little seating area they had over here that I didn't notice. So I guess if you wanted to sit here and Enjoy a little uh, drink or so while right by this. I just have a feeling there'll be mosquitoes if you sit here at night. 
but it is really nice. So let's go see what else we have. Now we're heading towards where our room is. Now the nice thing is, we told them it was our 15 year anniversary and they gave us a room upgrade. So I think what we're staying in is called the villa. And uh, here, let's take another look at the uh, pool from this angle. And I don't know yet whether that's fresh water or salt water. But these are really nice rooms. All right, still working our way to the room. I just took off my mask. I, take, I think I take that to a little extreme. Half the time I'm by myself, there's no one around, no reason to wear a mask. All right, so this is heading to our room. And again, it's a, just beautiful everywhere you look. The weather's fantastic. There's mountains all over the place. Uh, we're gonna eat out in town. We're gonna eat here at the restaurant some. Breakfast is included. All right, so Kendall doesn't know we're heading in right now, but hopefully <laughs> she's ready. So this is ours, the number eight. Well, don't you look comfortable? You already got the robe on? Yeah. So this is a look at our room. Let's see if I can squeeze myself in the corner over here and get most of this in here. A really nice room. And I'll spin you around another way and show you the ceiling. Kendall's running away from us, but that's okay. All right, so this is what the roof looks like, or the ceiling and coming down. Now, if you were into TV and that's your thing, it comes with a big old TV, the desk, which I like, and fresh fruit drinks, and places to keep all of our stuff. Wait to see the bathroom. The bathroom's huge. Sweating to death. All right. All right, so hello, it's me. So we've got the nice sink area. And look at this tub. Let me see if I can get that to expose properly. Big old tub. It's got two sides to it. Sit over there, sit over there, have two people sit at the same time. And uh, I should have pointed this out. When I get done with the bathroom, I will point it out. So here's a shower area. And where you take care of business area and then if we go to this outside area you have your own private garden area which I will take you out to see so what they mean when they say private garden area is that as you can see they've got a hedge there so no one else could see even if there is no one here but if there was and then you got this private area in the back and as you can see, Kindly enjoying herself, you've got this nice, quiet little seating area. And Kindle is probably texting her friends right now. You having a good time so far? Nice and relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. Even exceeded my expectations. Yeah, it exceeded mine too. Now, if I just sit here for a minute and shut my mouth, listen to how quiet it is. So as you can see, it's very quiet. So we're really excited about staying here. We're gonna be checking it all out. We've only been here for maybe a half an hour. So as you can see, I couldn't wait to hurry up and do a video, but truth be known, oops, I dropped my hat. Truth be known, I wanted to go ahead and show you our room and everything before we got real comfortable and it's not gonna look as nice as it looks now. But uh, we will show you a little bit more here soon.
So Kendall's relaxing back in the room and uh, I thought I would take this time to ride around Pi to see what all there is to see before we do something tonight. So like I told you already, this is our 15 year anniversary and we originally were planning to go down to Patia Beach, which would have been a 10 hour drive for us. But with all the COVID issues going on right now, uh, that didn't look like it was going to happen. So we decided to go to Pai, which is in another province, and we did have to go through a checkpoint, but uh, we made it through the checkpoint just fine. Uh, they took our, at the checkpoint, they had us uh, take our temperature, ask us where we lived, where we were going, how long we're staying there. They got our passports and looked everything over and they had a computer and they did something. But anyway, all that was done. It took about, about five minutes and then we were on our way. So this is Pi and I put the destination to Walking Street. So this is the drive to Walking Street. I actually see a lot of places open right now. I thought this place would be dead. But as you can see from the motorcycles and people walking around, there's things happening. I'm going to come back and check this out tonight and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I thought I would take you on a uh, drive around Pi. Now, we are here for five days and we have a house sitter at our house so the dogs are fine. Uh, we figured we would just have them uh, stay at the house with a sitter. It would be a little less stressful on them than uh, taking them to a uh, kennel that they're unfamiliar with. So yeah, this looks like uh, some spots I saw on YouTube before. So this is the famous walking street. I'm kind of uh, reading shops as we go. All right. So some places are closed. Let's see, motorcycle rents, rent, renting places open. That bar's open, but it doesn't look like they're open for business. That lady's putting up a clothes sign right now on her world travel business. So I'm sure this is a happening place when COVID's not here. So we really like the hotel that we're staying at right now. It's very quiet. Like I said, right now we're the only ones in the whole place. So it's very, very quiet and nice. I'm sure it's not always like that. At least I hope not for the, uh, for the uh, hotel's sake. Well, I hit a dead end. Maybe I'll take a left here. Well, here's a Pi Siam Bistro. They're open. Witching well, can't tell if they're open. Massage parlor open, pizza not open. So it's kind of hit or miss, but there are places open here. And so for, for those of you who aren't that familiar with pie, it is is just a really nice, um, it's usually like a backpackers destination hippie type atmosphere bohemian I guess you could say and uh, I've heard a lot about this place even before we ever came to Thailand and uh, glad we're finally getting to check it out it's a nice alternative to Pattaya totally different though here in the mountains so Kindle and I are eating down our own walking street in Pai we're ordering up something from the Vietnamese sandwich restaurant. You see somebody behind me walking. They had to get more fuel to cook. They ran out of fuel on our order. And that's fine. We're in no hurry whatsoever. So I'm going to put on my mask and show you what it's like in the evening here at Pi. Because we are right on Walking Street. I'm looking down as I'm talking to you. And uh, anyway, I'll get the mask on. 
walk around, show you what it's like, and then we'll come back and see the food that we're gonna get. This place has excellent reviews. We looked at them online before we came here. Again, Vietnamese sandwich. They didn't have all their whole menu open. I think they said we could get either grilled chicken. Grilled chicken, fried chicken. Something uh, else, but anyway. Tofu and something else. Tofu, yeah, she's getting grilled. I'm getting fried. Chicken, so, not Chicken, tofu. not tofu. <laughs> Even though I like tofu. So anyway, just let me show you around the street. So this is looking right. And then we'll take a small tour down the road here. Show you what walking streets like in the evening. It's about 5:30. So as you can see, there's really not a whole lot going on here, just like during the day. So nighttime looks about the same. We had a hard time finding a restaurant. We uh, drove around, drove around, and we only found a few places open, and some we found good reviews for, and we went there, and they weren't even open anymore. So I'll go back and get Kindle, but we'll enjoy this guy's music. music. Here's the outside of the restaurant that we're at. There you go. There we go. And there's Kindle somewhere behind the plant. So I got my sandwich. This is their uh, fried chicken sandwich. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of it compared to Kindle's head. <laughs> it's bigger than her big old head. And uh, it's got um, the mayonnaise is a garlic mayonnaise that the owner made herself. And here's Kendall's big old sandwich. It's the grilled chicken sandwich. So we're going to eat this and we'll let you know how it is. Fantastic food and nobody's going hungry with one of these. It's delicious. You probably get one for two people, maybe three. Delicious, absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. Look at the reviews for this place. And it's everything they said it was and more. So we just finished our food. I finished the whole sandwich. Kendall only had half. It was awesome. So good. So good. So we want to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do feel so inclined, please buy us a, a coffee. We sure would appreciate it. But we're going to leave it here. So as I would like to end our videos by saying, Kap Kun Krab.